cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing businesses out there. And for good reason, people are being hacked all the time. There are all kinds of issues on the internet. This is like a war that's happening all the time. Uh, and we shouldn't be scared to get on the internet. There are things we can do to secure ourselves on the internet. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three things you can do to better secure yourself on the internet. Look, we can't get away from the internet. We need the internet for work. We need the internet for news. We use the internet for entertainment. And it's a great tool. Uh, the, the challenge is we're also using the internet to buy things and there's all kinds of scams and uh, fraud that's happening on the internet. And so just like anything else, we put locks on our doors. We have security at events. Uh, we need to have cybersecurity systems in place. Now I got hacked uh, about five years ago, uh, maybe six years ago now. Uh, and it was a nightmare. Uh, they got into my email accounts, got into my PayPal accounts, got into my bank account. It was, they were everywhere and I couldn't figure out how they got in, what they did. The, the reality is I had the same password for everything. Uh, it was dumb. I was unsecure. I, I, you know, I still don't know exactly how they got in, but I know they were in uh, and I couldn't get them out. Uh, and it took me months and really probably years to fully recover from that hack. And I learned a lot and I have since kept really secure processes. And if I would have just taken the time to do the things that I knew I needed to do back then, uh, I, I wouldn't have gone through the nightmare that I did. So it's worth taking the necessary measures and they actually don't take nearly as much time or money as you might think. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three things you can do to secure yourself while online. I don't get on the internet unless I have a VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network, which basically means I'm using the internet to log into another uh, internet uh, and, and so that people can't really track me. It's crazy what people can see when we get on the internet or on their website. They can see where we are basically, like our locate physical location. Uh, they can track where we've been. They can put cookies and there's all kinds of things. And when we use a virtual private network, uh, it allows us to really basically act like we're logging in from a different place. Now there's lots of uses for a VPN. Uh, and this could be that you could log in as if you're in the UK and watch Netflix from the UK. Uh, so there's shows that you would want to access or you know, you, you can choose a different location uh, for where you want to log in. Uh, and, and this is something that scammers actually use quite a bit, but even for our personal use, uh, when I'm watching Netflix or when I'm doing anything at home, uh, and especially when I'm traveling, when I lo log in, I don't, I, I don't log into anything without a VPN, uh, but I definitely wouldn't log into the internet, you know, at a hotel Wi-Fi or like a, you know, coffee shop Wi-Fi without using a VPN. Uh, so what is a VPN? How do you use it? Uh, you know, Nord VPN is the one that I use is probably the most popular common one out there. There are others out there uh, that are also great. Google has a great one uh, as well. Uh, but but basically, I, you know, I think it's about five dollars a month and I and I do it through my Chrome browser. Uh, but there's different ways and you can log into your phone and just set up a VPN and it will have VPN login that you can use. It's pretty easy. Um, and then once you do it, it pretty much automatically just does it. Uh, and so every time you log in, it will just automatically, and then you can log into your VPN and say, I actually want to switch from being in New York to being in Los Angeles or being in London or being in Dubai. And so you can choose your location. And so they have servers set up all over the place where you can basically log in through that server in that country or that city and location. Uh, so virtual private network is going to keep you secure online. So. Make sure when you log into the internet that you have a VPN. Let's talk about the most important thing that I think you need to do even more important than a VPN when it comes to your security, and that is a password manager. I use LastPass. One password is another great solution that's out there. And essentially, I just have one password that logs me into my password manager. I just have to remember that one password, and then it easily lets me log into different sites and you know create really complicated, unique, little passwords for every account that I have. And I just use LastPass, that tool, and it's a Chrome browser, it's an app in my phone, um, and all my passwords are there, but I can't get into that without my one password. I can't get into that uh, without the security that I've already set up on my computer and on my phone. Uh, and so having a password manager for your probably hundreds of passwords that are out there, instead of using one password for everything, that if somebody got that password, they could get into your world, have this this security system and have a really secure singular password uh, that gets you access to all of your passwords and so uh one, one password or last pass is such a great tool to secure yourself online having good passwords and having those secure passwords is the most important thing you need to do to keep yourself secure online 
let's talk about the most annoying thing you've got to do to keep yourself secure online and that's double authentication people hate this people are annoyed by this i gotta get a text message every time i log into my email or i gotta i gotta set up you know every time i gotta do this i gotta use the authenticator app it is worth it it is worth it to have your instagram to have your facebook to have your email everything set up with double authentication uh, to have the system having secure passwords through a password manager and using a vpn are really important uh and, and then adding that extra layer of double authentication really just sets it up where it's like it is so unlikely that somebody is going to be able to hack into your accounts uh, and so you got to have this combination of these three secure things of a vpn uh, a secure password through a password manager and, and then using authentication and, and you could do this through a couple of different ways of one just texting uh, and getting that that double authentication through text messages or there are authentication apps google has a great authentication app uh, where you can connect that to an account and use that as an authenticator uh, and it will give you basically 30 seconds or 60 seconds with a specific short code that you can punch into a website uh, so using an authentication app or using double authentication is essential I know it's annoying, but trust me, it's worth it. Whatever hassle it takes to reset up that double authentication, and you can set it up where it changes, uh, that you've got to re-authenticate and change your password even every day. Uh, it's worth it. Uh, go through that headache, that process to keep your stuff secure and make sure you're keeping your email uh, specifically secure, uh, but keep everything secure. Go through the, the, the process, go through the headache. It's worth it. I just want to add one last thing to this video. As I think about all the different options uh, that are available for future work, and as we're talking about this, security guards have been something that have existed in basically the history of man, uh, that we've needed security as yes, people do bad things. And, uh, and, and I think at the end of the day, the internet, bad things and people doing bad things are increasing more and more. As I think about the future of jobs, if I were looking for a future job or skill to learn, cybersecurity would be a path that I would go down. Uh, and, and so learning things like what, what can I do to help companies create their security measures? Basically, it must be like an internet security guard uh, for these companies. Uh, and, and so it looks different and it's, it's complicated, different size uh, companies. I can actually get to know uh, spent time with the cybersecurity team at USAA a few years back, a bank, you know, and they do insurance and all kinds of things. Uh, but, but they, you know, I mean, they had, you know, dozens of people that literally just fought bad people that were trying to hack into their system and their, their clients accounts. And so, uh, we've got to be proactive, uh, in, 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 in how we handle our own stuff online. But I think there's actually a great professional opportunity. If you're looking for career change, you know, I'd throw out cybersecurity as a really great option that I believe many people are going to need and is going to be very valuable in the future. So just want to throw that out as people are often coming to me of like, can I get into social media, digital stuff? You know what? Another opportunity would be cybersecurity that I think is worth pursuing. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, I hope you will stay secure online. If you have any other cybersecurity tips, drop those in the comments. Let us know and let's grow and learn together. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you again on the next episode.